so i'll click on row yeah okay towards the extreme left of the last row i will right click it and i see row and insert insert number of rows let's insert two rows i'll click on okay yeah two rows are added similarly i want to add a column to the extreme top of the table click it so it will select a column right click oh my god okay uh -huh. what's this i will yeah right click yes and column insert how many columns one i'll click on okay yeah i have one more column simple sounds really simple good enough something which you ha you already have been doing with ms word same things you can do with libreoffice writer okay so i will save this and i will close writer for now now i want to open an already existing file again libreoffice writer file open where i saved it i saved it on the desktop desktop scope sandan dot doc open i have it back so you see the things are perfectly similar to what you have been doing and if you haven't done it try it out see the tutorials that we have on spoken tutorial site yes i'll be sharing you the website towards the end of the lecture or better have our workshop in your college okay close writer now let's work with excel ms excel what is excel excel is basically a spreadsheet program right you call it spreadsheet then what do you call it table of this writer or ms word we call it word processor now these are some terms that you should be knowing see microsoft word what we call it we call it word processor because it process some words some 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 text and array of text so we call it ms word word processor similarly labor office writer is word processor what is ms excel microsoft excel it is spreadsheet program why because you see a sheet of some tables some rows and columns which are spread across almost to infinity if you have scrolled it so we call it spreadsheet program okay now the libreoffice counterpart of excel we call it calc c a l c calc calculator something similar to calculator so calc we call it libreoffice calc let me open libreoffice calc for you look at the computer screens and yeah i'll click on libreoffice calc excel i know this yes it is excel but now we call it calc because now we are libreoffice people we will call it calc see certain elements remain perfectly similar to what we just saw with libreoffice writer the menu bar standard toolbar formatting toolbar the status bar and what is this something new what we call it formula bar we call it formula bar so menu bar standard toolbar formatting toolbar formula bar your spreadsheet your status bar see each file of you take excel or you take calc each file is called a workbook work book each book will have some sheets see three sheets by default you can add a sheet by clicking on this small plus sign sheet 4 i have now right so each file we call it workbook we call the program as spreadsheet program the file as workbook and what does workbook contain some sheets 4 5 10 50 100 500 as many you want by default we have three sheets okay so now we have three sheets i created the one port sheet let me delete it i'll click on i'll right click over here yeah and i will select delete sheet are you sure yes i am 
I click on yes. Okay. See, you s what you see in a spreadsheet normally, some rows, horizontal rows, and vertical columns, and each intersection of row and column like this, 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 or this, we call them cell. C E double L cell. Okay. Now each cell has its number. It is, uh, it is identified from the column num column name and the row number. So now this is column A, row number one. Cell name is A one. Where is it? Over here. See, it reads A one. Let me select this one. It is column C, row number seven. Column C, row number seven. So the cell name is C seven. See, this one shows me C seven. Okay. So now there are various advantages of using a spreadsheet program. Uh, let me enter some data. I'll enter one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. I want to enter till ten. So what I'll do? I'll just select these cells, and I see a black square, a kind of dot over here. I'll take my cursor over that. My cursor will change to a sign of plus. I'll drag it down. Yeah, automatically I have the data. So what did this calc do? It identified that I entered the number as one, two, three, four, and it entered the rest of the numbers for me. Great. I want to add these numbers. All these one to sixteen. I want to add them. What I'll do? See, if you have been using Excel, you may be acquainted with the formulas. Okay. Calc carries those same formula. Let me enter a formula in this cell number A seventeen. What does formula start with? Is equal to, right? Have you used Excel? Have you used formula in Excel? Yes. Then formula starts with is equal to. Is equal to sum S U M sum bracket. I will select these cells. Uh, okay. And I'll press. enter i got the sum what is the sum it is 136 right i want to have an average of these numbers so i'll just click on delete to remove this sum delete i'll write down is equal to what is the formula for average avg a p g okay it is average full form average it is not avg it is average bracket open i'll select this data and then i'll click on i'll press enter what is the average it is 8.5 right average from 1 to 16 is 8.5 yes it is true it is mathematically correct okay so many other formulas are actually there which you can just have a look I I I'll show you where all the formulas are. Click on data. No. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Sorry, click on insert. And here is function. You call it function, you call it formula, one and the same. We call it formula in Excel. Calc calls it function. Doesn't matter. Insert function and here is a list of all the functions you can use. See the long elaborate list around more than hundreds of formula you have functions you have you can use them okay you can see them for your references i just show you okay so uh, one most important thing yes charts right graphs we want to insert these graphs in excel we do it even calc can do it see uh i'll sel i want to make a graph of these data 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> what i'll do i will click on insert chart okay see the chart result is perfectly same as what we see in excel i'll choose a column chart okay click on next data range i will click on this button if you remember the same button we have in excel 
the window will become small okay it became small let me select the data from okay I have selected I will click on my data I haven't selected let me select it uh, uh, yeah I have selected my data I will click on next again next not interested again I'm not interested in these things finish I have my graph right you have these things in Excel so you do have them in calc big deal so simple so similar so acquainted you are right okay again let me save it file save the same dialog box let me name it scope sandan table or say calc again I want to save it on my desktop formats see here you can also save your LibreOffice calc file in MS Excel format also scroll down and down and down yeah Microsoft Excel 2007-2010 file extension dot x l x okay again down and here i have dot xls microsoft excel 97 2003 version so i can save it in that but by default it will be saved in odf spreadsheet open document foundation spreadsheet by default but i don't want to work on default so let me install it or uh, let me save it as ms excel and I'll click on save confirm again yes I am confirming this it is saved where is it saved it is on my desktop let's see I'll close this here I have it on my desktop scope sandan calc dot xls I'll open it double click I have it back right the same file same chart same table everything okay so all the things are similar to MS Excel so whether you refer to tutorials of LibreOffice or you refer to tutorials of Excel you are effectively going to learn the same thing isn't it so this was LibreOffice Calc again a quick recap LibreOffice Writer similar to MS Word LibreOffice Calc similar to MS Excel okay so LibreOffice Suite similar to Microsoft Office Suite right or not okay so by far we saw two things LibreOffice Writer and LibreOffice Calc now third and very important thing that we have in MS Office is Microsoft PowerPoint what we make in PowerPoint slides presentations we all make it so LibreOffice should also have this and LibreOffice calls it what it calls it impress yeah you use presentations to impress people so LibreOffice called it LibreOffice impress and here it is LibreOffice impress what is LibreOffice impress again it is the LibreOffice counterpart of Microsoft PowerPoint so are you ready shall we see this also why not I'll open it here I am oh I'll just make this small I'll make this small also okay. what is the what are the elements for example in word or LibreOffice writer what we have a page to write on in Excel or Calc what we have a spreadsheet of columns and rows to write into what we have in presentation Microsoft PowerPoint or impress we have slides right we have slides what is this this is a slide we have slides okay again the same things 
menu bar standard toolbar formatting toolbar status bar few things more this you see a, a, a column over here of various options this is what this is your task pane they call it task pane now this we used to have in uh, microsoft 2003 and in 2007 it was replaced by a menu uh, like this horizontal menu so this is similar to microsoft office 2003 look task pane some shapes you can draw from here a line and arrow rectangle circle and what not so the shapes are over here okay now let's make some two three slides okay i'll click to add a title let me add a title again the same thing scope sandan text nothing but hi i will insert a new slide how to insert a new slide go to this slides column right click new slide i have a new slide okay but i want it to be completely blank so i will go to this task pane click on this layouts yeah i'll click select this blank slide so my slide is now totally blank right okay let me insert a rectangle i'll insert a rect I'll, i'll click on rectangle over here click and drag to draw a rectangle i have it i want to have a circle into it so i'll click on this circle tool and oh sorry and i'll what is this okay i'll draw a circle i have a circle into this my rectangle is blue my circle is blue let me make it green so i'll go to i'll go to fill color where is fill color uh yeah color make it green okay so some basic things i'm doing just don't worry so this is there okay let me add some animations again in the task pane you will see this custom animation